Hello everyone, welcome to the analysis of the Interbridge tournaments. So we play always on Thursday. Uh, the name of the tournament is Open Pairs Play with Milan. Uh, we start at 8 p.m. Central European time, so I'm pretty sure that you can adjust the time. Okay, well, congratulations to Genian Ilian. 65% a great score, uh, Peter and Kevin on the second place and Nick and Zlatan here 57%. Uh, what is uh, definitely noticeable is that Peter and Kevin, if we just look at uh, their scorecard, they started with three bottoms and we played against them the second round and um, well their mood was definitely not high after such a start. But if you don't give up, look what can happen on a tournament, which even is not like that long. So you feel that on 14 boards you cannot catch up uh, with the average less than 10% 10, 10 on the first three boards. But then you get five top scores in the last five hands and you end up being second. So congratulations for uh, one of the greatest recovery I have seen. Okay, well, let's go through the boards. So, board one um, might be not such an interesting board in general, but there was one pair who reached a slam. Um, I have to say that uh, the bidding was not very scientific. So, East uh, is opening one spade, two clubs on West, two hearts, so just a two-seater. Four hearts, already a game forcing. F2 clubs is already a game forcing. And four hearts is a minimum. I don't think that uh, East is justified just to jump to um, six hearts. Uh, but you can expect a spade shortness. So all you need is Ace of Diamonds, Queen of Hearts and King of Clubs. Spartan has absolutely perfect hand. But how to bid this properly? Um, well... Standardly, it's very tough uh, when you have a void opposite your partner's opening suit. And after one spade opening, I think reaching this slam is really difficult. Um, I suggest you, after one spade opening, to bid two clubs and uh, rebid three hearts uh, with East to show a six loser hand with a 5 5 distribution because that extra card is super important. And then West might actually uh, make an action here, jump to four no trumps maybe, uh, but it's very hard to show a strong hand with a hard fit. So maybe with a four diamond uh, now bid uh, from West. But how you can actually bid these hands? I have in my repertoire the two no trumps opening because um, I prefer to open all 20 plus hands in two clubs. Uh, you can uh, check out my website, uh, milanbridge.com, uh, where the two clubs opening is described, uh, how you can show all those kind of ranges. And there is a huge advantage that the two no trump bed is open. And I strongly suggest you to play two no trumps on majors, 5-5. Five, five. This is exactly the perfect hand. Six theoretical losers, ace, king, queen missing, queen of hearts, Ace of Diamonds and King of Clubs. So if you open two no trumps, then suddenly um, West might try for a slam having those clubs. And if partner has a club shortness, then you will not want to go. But if partner has a diamond shortness and club doubleton, it might work. So you can ask for that with the free club bid to show an interest uh, to a slam with a hard fit. So it's a very simple bidding after two no trumps. Usually you just bid the final contract. But if you are interested, you can bid three clubs. And now three hearts, three spades shows, uh, let's say, the standard opening 5-5 five, five, uh, with a shortness. So three hearts shows club shortness, three spades shows spade shortness. If you have a void, you can bid four clubs, four diamonds to show a void. And that can solve all your problems. So now when West uh, actually finds out about uh, diamond shortness, um, still it's not sure if partner has spade values or hard values with the ace of clubs. So he might actually now continue after three spades with uh, four clubs control and uh, give a slide 
invitation to a slam uh, with showing that Barney is covering the ace. And now uh, I think East might keep going. But very tough slam to bid. Uh, that's why the majority of players uh, didn't, uh, didn't bid it. And the one who did kind of gambled it. Gambled it. Um, the most uh, important thing is actually to make uh, 13 tricks. And after Ace of Spades, it's uh, much easier after a diamond lead, uh, which breaks uh, the entry later on, might be tough. But what do you need to do if you get the Ace of Spades lead? So you have to rough. And if you count the tricks, five hard tricks, uh, one ace is six, three clubs is nine. Um, if you establish two clubs, that's only 11. So you need two roughs. So one rough with the heart, then it's important to get an immediate club communication and another spade rough. And now you need to draw the trumps. Because if they split 2-2, two, two, you are kind of fine from the beginning. Because you will always get two roughs. But if they split 3-1, you are in troubles because you have to draw three rounds of trumps. And of course, if clubs split, you are all fine. But if they do not, then that's where you need uh, this diamond communication. So this is actually how you can make uh, 13 tricks uh, relatively easily. And uh, if you do not bid the slam, see, now you just uh, dump the diamond and um, west hand is good. So you make all 13 tricks. And if you do, 75% or probably even more, if one didn't bid a slam, that's a great score. Okay, board number two. Uh, some people were aggressive and uh, that was actually throughout the tournament. I see that people are over aggressive here. Um, when you just have a look on East hands, it's 11 count with a six card. Um, Non-vulnerable, so yes, I agree with uh, one hard opening, but then you need to have some mechanism how to stop. And the most pairs uh, who stopped, uh, I like this bidding, so I don't need to tell you more. One heart, two clubs over call, I did the same, or uh, my partner did the same. And now two diamonds, forcing one round, 10 plus points, pass, two hearts, I have a minimum hand. Uh, I like to play two no trumps and three diamonds as well to show a minimum hand. Uh, and then uh, uh, West should just pass in two hearts. How it happened at our table. And look at that. Not much you can do. 13% opponents did perfect to stop in two hearts. Make their nine tricks. So don't, don't push. Don't overbid too much. Especially in match points. And uh, yet the third hand was very similar. Uh, so right now uh, we scored also... Um, 80 per over 80% uh, just by, by bidding and making our game. So as north, uh, sorry, as south, you open one diamond and north uh, bids one heart. Uh, now east has a 5-5 five five in black suits, but being vulnerable, uh, yet five theoretical losers, um, that's uh, a good hand to be on third level. So I really like uh, the two no trumpet by Peter to show the other two suits than diamonds and hearts. I also like to play one no trump to show the other two suits, uh, but four, four, five, four, uh, six, four with the minor uh, and an overcall strength, while two no trumps shows a five, five other suits. Uh, strength to the third level, standardly six to five theoretical losers or potentially a stronger hand with a 6-5. So then three hearts from south, all fine, even if south jumps to four hearts and there was a case uh, there, you should just stop. This um, hand might be not good enough for a slam um, because simply uh, you need a lot of roughs and the hard suit is, is not that good. Be more passive in match points. Board number four, uh, look at that. Minus six, minus four, minus three, and minus two in three no trumps 
from north side. So everybody overbid this hand. So West uh, has an 11 count and everybody opened this one hard. And I'm a little bit uh, surprised being vulnerable that everybody opens this uh, with one hard. I mean, uh, yeah, you have 11 high card points, but doubleton jack, doubleton queen and for jack. Those points do not score any tricks. So I prefer this hand to open two hearts. And then it might be really tough for north south to reach anything. So it might go two hearts north with 17 count, probably bits two no trumps with a stopper. And uh, south will be on the edge to pass two no trumps or bit three no trumps. And look, if you guess everything right, if you guess the doubleton queen of diamonds, uh, then uh, you can even make three no trumps. So that's definitely a good spot. Um, two hearts, uh, even by passing and just does bidding two hearts was a disaster on this board. Um, how you play definitely you don't have enough to bid twice with the with the east hand. So um, I mean the winners a little bit crazy crazy bidders so far in in these first hands. Board number five, so this is a game bidding, relatively standard bidding, but we didn't reach a slam. And um, in one way bidding, it should be quite simple, that you just open one no trump with a south hand, north transfers, and bid three no trumps, south corrects to four spades. But what do you do if east opens two diamonds, even like non-vulnerable? Then um, definitely south have, has a takeout double, but what do you do with north hand? Um, you have a lot of lot of losers, although you have um, like 10 high card points, but those jacks, queen jack and diamonds, where you can expect two, three, three rounds of diamonds from the lead and a potential promotion. Um, I decided to bid two spades, partner passed, um, again match points, so understandable and we didn't reach uh, this game, so uh, this time this like very aggressive preempt uh, worked out. Uh, board number six, yet again, everybody overbid, uh, but mainly because there was a competitive auction. So uh, very tough to bid and show this east hand. Nine high card points, but a six five distribution. You cannot show this hand well if you open, unless you have such a two suitor opening. If you don't, I suggest you to pass East Hand and show it in the second round. I think it happens um, somewhere. Uh, let's see again here, Peter. Well, uh, Peter is my school. So if you pass uh, East Hand, South opens one club with 13 count, uh, North bits a spade then now it's the time, six theoretical losers, six five, you can bid again the two suitor hand. If opponents possibly uh, do not bid clubs and diamond, uh, spades, you might just shut up. Or if they show hearts, you can offer diamonds. But be careful, these hands are not good if this is a misfit hand. Anyway, if, even if North bid a spade and uh, there came up two, two no trumps over call, then uh, I don't even think that south hand is worth uh, worth bidding. Always think how many losers you cover. Queen of spades covers, ace of hearts, well with the queen might potentially cover even two. Diamond doubleton, yeah okay, king jack um, where the strength is behind, well probably it just covers something. So three spades is on the edge, might be justified, but what is important is to have the agreement that if you bid free space with uh, these balanced hands with four card spades, which I'm okay uh, with it if you cover four losers, uh, but if uh, you have a stronger bid uh, with three hearts, then definitely North should not take an action after three spades, because that hand is rubbish. Again, doubleton queen, jack ten third, um, not very useful with bad breaks. Um, you just don't want to uh, rush into a game, especially in match points. So free space down one is, I think, a reasonable contract. Four spades is definitely overbidding. 
Uh, board 7, so we might just uh, have a look. Uh, what happened at our table? So, one diamond as um, well waiting, but we have 18 balance hand. Pass, pass with West, um, two aces only, but being vulnerable, that's understandable. Pass, pass, one hard reopen and one neutron from south. Um, I think kind of a standard bidding, although you might even give up uh, with the south hand having 18 high card points and a four card in opponent suits. Uh, where do you get your tricks uh, when your partner doesn't bring you any? And you have to play several times from north to make your king queen in diamonds or the king of spades. Uh, it might be very hard for opponents to push, so I suggest even with 18, if partner passes your opening, I will suggest you to pass, especially like match points. Being vulnerable, uh, scoring 90 um, will be a bad score anyways. So um, again, um, people misdefended over overbid, because um, here giving up two no trumps uh, from south, um, that's uh, a little bit of a giveaway, uh, but I understand that's not always. You might be on the same line, especially if uh, you play the first time with your partner and you don't have those signals agreed. Well, board number eight, um, hard contract from east-west, relatively standard, so let's uh, skip it. Uh, board number nine, once again, people uh, overbid. So you have 12 count as an opening and 11 count on a west hand. Um, the west hand is particularly bad and there is one uh, important reason that west hand is bad and that's the four card diamonds. Uh, yes, the hand has three good honor tricks, but basically that's it. Because if partner opens a diamond, uh, if not by an opening, it shows a four card. Even if it is a five card, uh, we don't have a chance to score any length tricks in any other suit. So this hand might be a super mirror and the four card diamonds is actually uh, worse than if you will have a four card major or four card clubs. Because simply you have one less uh, length trick to figure out and um, 11 opposite 12, 14, I suggest you even with West to bid one diamond pass one no trump. Or if you play the inverted minor, this hand might be good to bid one diamond pass two diamonds because you have a chance to stay in two no trumps or in three diamonds. Uh, very tough, uh, depends how you bid after inverted minors. Uh, board number 10, there was a past, there was a past hand. So if we just uh, have a look, uh, West, uh, sorry, East is opening, seven high card points. So that's a sure pass, South with 12 count. I think that's a relatively standard one, club opening. Um, really aggressive double on this table uh, with West, with 4 4 4 one being vulnerable. Yes, in match points, you might push to two in a suit and push opponents to three clubs, which worked out from West, but overbidding three clubs with three hearts, um, that's already too much. So when you do aggressive uh, doubles, then just let your partner uh, overbid because you already shoved everything what you have. And the key in these 20-20 um, count uh, hands is to be in two in a major or three in a minor. Don't bid free over free, which is exactly uh, this thing going down for 200 uh, was a disaster. Next board, yet again, uh, somebody passed the hand. So we might have a look uh, what's going on here. Now south is opening, 13 count, well, probably somebody miscounted. Uh, but I think that uh, south has a standard one club opening. Uh, pass, north bids a spade, a south we bid a no trump, and north bids um, two spades. Well, I had this hand and I passed one no trump. Um, it was 
well, a good decision if you make, uh, but apparently uh, this hand can make more tricks and a suit, especially the Queen Jack, uh, was a terrible opposite free small, so wasted three points, and at the end uh, nothing worked out. So even one no trump and see Norvis eleven count op opposite opening. So reevaluate queens and jacks not worth uh, to bid high, especially when you know that you don't have a good fit and a bad five card suit. Board number 12, uh, three pairs passed, and at the end, uh, it was actually on south to reopen. Uh, west started with 10, north with 10, uh, east with 10, and south with 10. Very rare that everybody has 10. But definitely south with a five card major um, might try to open with a good suit, because you can expect after pass, 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 and you have a 10 count, that the points are 20-20, and that um, you want to be in two spades. Um, I might actually open two spades on the fourth seed, although this hand is even weaker than the two spade opening. Um, so very tough. Um, I might just go with, with the pass um, as well. But if you do, uh, yet again, uh, you have to be able to stay low if you open these weak hands. Board number 13 was actually uh, the most interesting hand. Uh, see that uh, six spades down two. Um, I, I guess th this was not an, even a misunderstanding. Uh, it was just bad bidding. I will not uh, show the hand. Uh, seven no trump is, well, incredible bidding. So let's just go uh, where it might be uh, somehow normal. But uh, let's have a look. Because uh, North has a past hand and again... Uh, East has 11 count with 6 card major. Uh, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7 theoretical losers being vulnerable. If you play constructive 2s, uh, then um, even 2 spades might be okay. If you open 1 spade, um, it's okay with me because at least this time you have more defensive tricks with the King of Hearts and Queen 10 in diamonds. Um, you might have like 2.5 defensive tricks. Uh, which is better than the previous hands we, we had. So after a spade, then uh, you will get the two heart, uh, two heart response, um, two spades, three clubs as a two suitor. Now you get a three hearts support. So you can ask for key cards. If you hear two, then uh, you can basically go to a grand slam because you have four rounds of hearts. Um, and so the diamond you will dump on the ace of spades. So see that this hand even um, in match points uh, got to seven no trumps. I think seven hearts um, might be a bit better because you have a chance that if Pardon doesn't have the jack of clubs, uh, then you can rough the third round. Especially since Pardon rebitted two spades, you might either have six or five spades four diamonds two two uh definitely not a full fit which might be the jump to four hearts with a minimum hand um more interesting might be if you get a two spade opening so after one spade at least um usually uh, you know how to bid but against us uh, susan was faced with a two spade opening by uh, her partner in on east and yeah, it's a nightmare hand where most often Parton has good spades and nothing else. Uh, yet um, there are ways how to figure out if there is something better. And what I strongly suggest to you to play two no trumps as asking for the shortness, not features. Uh, you can just check out again my website milanbridge.com. Uh, I have even the in the free version. Uh, learn bridge uh, bidding after two uh, major opening so if it goes uh, we can can I even bid this hand I'm not sure no oh here we go we can bid the hand so this comes pass two spades pass you can go two no trumps and now East either bits a shortness if he doesn't have a, a super minimum 
or a bit's free space when he has a super minimum. Without the shortness and extras, like this hand, free top honors, you bit free no trumps. And look at that now, if partner has free top honors, well, it's probably not like ace king queen in spades, because that might be the jump to four spades, or, or a bit of shortness or something. So right now, you are actually good, but what do you know if Spartan doesn't have a shortness? Or maybe if it is, it will be a singleton king of hearts, probably not a singleton king of diamonds. So those are the options. So right now, after free no trumps, you can actually keep bidding. And you don't have really good bids uh, here. So um, two no trumps standardly uh, shows a no fit in spades. So if you keep bidding, um, you have a preference uh, to play that seed. But four hearts will be uh, a sign of here. So you have a definitely uh, a tough bid. You might use four no trumps and, uh, as a general key card asking. If you have a spade fit, after two spades, you should ask for the shortness with free club bid. So same responses basically, uh, but you already know that you are going to a spade contract and you are trying for a slam. So after this, you might actually... Uh, Bidding four hearts, but you might uh, just jump actually to uh, six hearts. Potentially, you can even ask for aces. And if partner shoved three top honors, it's it's very tough to figure out if it is ace king and queen of diamonds. So I think gambling seven is uh, very tough. I would um, sorry. Uh, this is where I will just jump to six hearts and that might be it. You can have an agreement and jump to five hearts. It's already like slamish in hearts and uh, then partner can show you uh, yet some extras. Uh, but that's a very advanced situation. So six hearts, you will make 13 tricks and look at that. That's an absolute average. Uh, maybe you might do six no trumps, but I'm not sure um, if you reach a slam like that, it's um, not uh, such a bad thing. So if you get a one spade opening, it's definitely easier uh, to reach either a no trump contract or a grand slam. Last board. Um, what happens? Uh, let's have a look uh, here on other table, but you see that Playing in hearts, uh, that was the goal. And east passes, uh, south passes, um, 11 count with west on third seed. Normally it's a one spade opening, but anyway, as north uh, you will overcall two hearts or open one heart in my, my case. And if it goes one spade, one heart, um, non-vulnerable east might raise to two spades but be very careful because you cover only one loser the jack of hearts might help but you definitely have less partner standardly expects two tricks but yes you want to push opponents to third level so if um, east bids two spades and it goes pass from south pass from west the north Count your losers, ace of spades, ace of hearts, ace king of diamonds and ace of clubs. Only five theoretical losers. So you definitely don't want to let opponents play two spades. So you might bid uh, three clubs. And now south normally passes with a 4-4. Four, four, uh, but if you just uh, look at this, look at our bidding. It went one heart, pass, one no trump. Now two spades over call. I bid three clubs. And Simon corrected to three hearts. Uh, well, uh, it can work out uh, because this is match points to play even on a 5 2 fit because you have two good honors. Uh, the Ace of Hearts is definitely helpful, uh, but you have to be ready that North will be shortened. So if Hearts will not split 3 3, we might be a little bit more in trouble. So this time it worked, but definitely do not let opponents play in a. Uh, in spades, so I will understand this 50% uh, for free clubs, absolutely standard. Two hearts is the best, if it goes one spade, two hearts pass, uh, then south passes, then I understand this bidding as well. Okay, well, uh, that was this uh, tournament 
on um, into bridge i'm looking forward towards the next week i wish you a great weekend and i hope that more of you will join and that you will learn a um, thing or two uh, and um, get on my website to learn a little bit more from may we actually start uh, with uh, daily videos so every day you will get a new video so just have a look uh, milanbridge.com uh, even in learn bridge you can just uh, see the two major opening with uh, video explanations and also with responses and with some practices and explanations how to get so this is definitely a, a great lecture for you and you will never go wrong if you follow this uh, structure so it's pretty easy I think and uh, very efficient but what is um, a great content in my opinion and I will really like your feedback uh, are the daily videos so uh, this hopefully be the main feature of our website because every day you will get a video uh, on the website which will unlock for the full members only 10 euros uh, for month we start from May uh, these two examples are just free of charge and uh, it's very simple so you just connect on the website the best uh, you get to the member section where um, you just register for free and um, then you might just join um, hopefully everything is clear but then you just click um, and you watch in the browser you can even uh, switch and watch on YouTube channel so that's fine uh, if I want to get uh, this screen this is how it looks uh, it will get a better quality uh, once the internet will settle uh, a little bit so now see that this is this is what you what you can get two of me Okay, well, what is uh, interesting about this layout is actually that I can talk and play for uh, all four hands. So um, it's nice that um, there is always a focus on the particular hand. And I'm also playing and talking about the hand from the position of the declarer, uh, but also from the position of the defenders if that's uh, an important thing and it's very hard in general to learn the defense and the thinking uh, of in the defense and this way every single day for 10 to 20 minute video when you are on the way to work to school uh, or if you just have um, free time and take take your afternoon coffee uh, you might learn uh, something new and enjoy uh, bridge a little bit more and learn uh, to uh, beat me as most of the players did this time. So, looking forward to see you guys. Have a great weekend.